you have a plan to increase security in places like that? The district has up-to-date and well-tested emergency response plans. This program was produced by Lenape District Television. Hello and welcome to Lenape High School for today's baseball matchup between the Lenape Indians and the Cherokee Chiefs. I'm Jimmy Fries here along with Joe Malagrana. Joe, what can we expect from today's game? Well, this whole division, American Division of the Olympic Conference, has seen great baseball all year round. Both teams are uh, in the up of the six. Lenape's Cherokee is at a in April. We won, I believe, one. Sort of competitive game. Okay. Thanks, Joe. We'll be back for the first pitch. Today's game on LDTV Sports, sponsored by Deborah Heart and Lung Center, where experience matters. 800-555-1990, www.deborah.org. Philadelphia Wholesale Produce Market, all the best, all right here. 215-336-3003, or on the web at www.pwpm.net. Comegno Law Group, specializing in general and special education law, representing individuals, families, public boards of education, and independent schools. 888-313-IDEA or comegnolaw.com. Wilmore School of Gymnastics and Cheer, where every child is special. Located on Briggs Road in Mount Laurel, 856-234-5292. Medford Village Car Care, serving the area's car care needs for 30 years. Located at 11 North Main Street in Medford, 609-654-4023. And on the web at mvcc-nj.com. And by Heads Up, Eyes Forward. Please never drive distracted. www.lrhsd.org slash heads up. For information on how your business can become a sponsor of LDTV Sports, contact Joe Malagrana, LDTV Underwriting Manager, at 609-268-2000, extension 8680, or by email, jmalagrana at lrhsd.org. And we're back here at Lenape High School. Ground rules being set here at home plate. Coaches and umpires preparing for today's game. Jim, in our opening, I know uh, sound was going in and out a little bit, but uh, basically what I tried to say is, is in the Olympic uh, Conference, especially in the American Division, with these both uh, both these teams are in. Uh, it's been great baseball all year round. Um, Lenape coming in at the fourth rank with an 11-2 and two record. And Cherokee, the sixth rank with a 13-6 and six record. Uh, Lenape did play uh, Cherokee early in the year, early uh, in April, and I believe they won 3-1. to one. So through the years, through history, they always had close games, and uh, we're probably going to have one today also. Well, it should be a good one here. As you see, the umps again going over the lineup card, and uh, 
And you said the ground rules. Head coach uh, from from Lenape, Phil, Dior, uh, Phil Fiore, coming in with a current record of 218 wins and 169 losses. And visiting uh, Cherokee Chiefs, Mark Petronani, has a current record of 120 and 75. He uh, also was 10 years as an assistant coach before uh, being named head coach. T those 10 years of under uh, longtime coach Bill Hassler. Who's enjoying the Florida sun right now. Down, he works with the New York Mets organization. So we got an overcast day here, a little bit windy. Shouldn't be too bad to affect the balls today. Well, right now it's dry. And, yeah. Uh, it's been London here in Seattle the last two weeks, a lot of uh, which is probably wrecked havoc with the uh, the schedulers and the you know the athletic directors trying to get these games in because not only are we at the end of the regulation we have the diamond classic coming up this weekend which uh you know the top 16 teams in that pres prestigious 43rd joe hartman diamond classic and uh hopefully they have the arms both teams have the arms to get through the diamond classic and everything else and it's now time for the AXA Equitable Keys to the Game, providing millions of customers with life insurance, annuities, and other needs-based products since 1859. AXA Equitable, be life confident at 732-452-7275. So, Joe, Cherokee, they want to throw early strikes. Well, you're going against a team with only, uh, you know, two losses. You don't want to give them any hitters count. So getting those early strikes are going to be important for the Chiefs. Lenape wants solid defensive play. And they've been getting defense, solid defensive play, timely hitting, great pitching all year round. We don't want to, again, uh, start to go away from their strong defensive play today. And both teams want to limit base running mistakes. And again, since these two teams are so evenly, uh, you know, talented, they don't want to give them any kind of uh, extra outs. All right. Just about ready for Lenape to take the field. Now you mentioned the weather again. It, it, it is overcast. I, I don't think there's any kind of maybe scattered showers later, later tonight. Um, there's hardly any wind, so uh, like I said, the wind and we're, the fielders looking into the sun with the high sky, not going to have that today. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's actually pretty good weather for the players, although we probably won't mind seeing some sunshine along the way <laughs> eventually. So for Cherokee, our starting batting lineup is going to be Jake Treber. He's the second baseman, and Evan Powell, the left fielder, Hunter Mason, the DH, John Gavur, Gavura, third baseman, uh, Mike Baruki at catcher, Mike Evans at right field, Nick Schooley at shortstop, Mike Font at first base, base and Jeff Schick at center field. And pitching and uh, not hitting for the Cherokee is uh, senior Nick Snyder. And it's now time for the AXA Equitable Sideline Report, providing millions of customers with life insurance, annuities, and other needs-based products since 1859. AXA Equitable, be life confident at 732-452-7275. And let's send it over to John Conlow with the Sideline Report. Thanks, guys. Today I had the opportunity to talk to Lenape head coach Fiore, and he said the team has really good defense, offense, and pitching. But he said the team has to win if they start playing. Um, he said the whole team has really good talent, but he said to watch Andrew Stagliano, who's on the mound today, and Tommy Gardner, who has had a really good season at shortstop. I also talked to um, Cherokee head co uh, assistant coach Dolores, who said the team has really good pitching and defense, but they lack their hitting. He said to watch um, the pitcher today, Nick Schneider, who's an ace for them. Both coaches said that the that the team is going to, the game is going to be a competition for both teams. I'm John Conlow on field. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, John. 
And we have our first batter here for Cherokee, Jake Treber. The second baseman, number five. Kind of game, big game for both teams right here. As John said, starting on the mound for Lenape is Andrew Stagliano. The southpaw. First pitch is high for a ball. Another ball. Count is 2 up. Three balls, no strikes. Right now, Andrew with the three balls all been uh, up in the zone. That's in there for a strike count is three balls and one strike. Great hitters count right here for Treber. And swings at that one, count is full. He really liked that pitch right down there, just uh, was overpowered by the fastball. And that's ball four. Again, all four uh, balls there were, were high in the zone. And now up for Cherokee, Evan Powell. Number 15, the left fielder. Lefty on lefty here. Treber steps off. And that's a ball. Count is one and out. Swings at that one, one and one. That was a healthy cut there. A little bit, little bit up, but uh, definitely, uh, definitely a strike. Throws it over to first base. Swings at that one, he's got under it. Pop up to left field. And he's got it in left field. That was caught by Mike Doug, Doug Long. DeLong. Mike DeLong in left field caught that one. And now for Cherokee, designated hitter number 17, Hunter Mason. Wonder if we'll see any kind of uh, hit and run here, maybe. Now that uh, right hander so that pitcher. That one first pitch. Over to second, got him. And double play there. Nice play. Looked like a 1 4 3 double play there to end the inning, end the top of the inning. And it was good contact on that ball, but unfortunately, one bounce right to the pitcher, and uh, they turned to double play to get out of. Uh, that lead runner getting on here. We'll see Lenape coming up. It's going to be our first time to look at Nick Snyder. Number 33 pitching for Cherokee. He's also a lefty with a battle, battle of the southpaws today. And our batting lineup for Lenape is going to be left fielder Mike Duglong. Third baseman Tommy Gardner, shortstop Jake Topolowski, Ryan er, and catcher and batting cleanup is going to be Ryan Bensel. At center will be Ben Harris. Right field will be Ryan Schutz. De designated hitter will be Mike Audit. Second baseman AJ Pena. First baseman Eric Zimmerman and pitching 
Andrew Stagliano. And their leadoff hitter, Mike Dulong, is, is coming off of uh, a three-hit game, three for four, uh, yesterday against Bishop Eustis, where which Lenape won seven to four. Uh, Lenape, uh, the Indians had a 15-hit attack. And uh, as I said, Mike had uh, three for four with two doubles and two RBIs. Cherokee, on the other hand, is actually coming off of a loss to the seventh-ranked uh, Lions of Cherry Hill West, 8-2. Uh, to two. Now, As I mentioned earlier, a lot of these teams are all bunched up in the rankings, and it's been great baseball all year round. And so here we have left fielder Mike Duglong. Number four. Batting leadoff for Lenape. Swings at the first pitch, got right under the third baseman's glove, and he'll be safe at first. There'll be a single there from Doug Long. Well, Cherokee wanted to throw early strikes. So couldn't get her any earlier. That was a definite strike. Got a lot of contact on it just off the, uh, off the glove of the third baseman. That's uh, John Gavora. Batting now is Tommy Gardner. Third base. And takes a strike outside a little bit. First, he'll be safe. And they've called strike. Count is no balls and two strikes. Was over to first, safe. Mike Duglong getting in the mind here early of Nick Snyder. Yeah, and both, uh, both pitchers, both teams have uh, good moves at first base. All right, that's to be one and two. It's going. Steals. Hit and run. Yeah. And easy double play. Yeah, Mike Duglong. Went to run, and they got him. Yeah, Dulong was up off and running on a hit and run, and uh, similar situation in the first inning so far. Both teams got their uh, lead runners on, their first opening runners on, and uh, was a race on a double play for both teams. That'll be a ball. Jake Topolsky. Yep. Second base. Out it there, one and one. Ball is high, two and one. Strike two, count is even at two. Up and away out of there, foul ball. Balski stays alive. Puts it into play. Ground ball is shortstop and out at first. That was grounded by Nick Schooley. That'll be the end of the first inning. Cherokee zero and Lenape zero. Do up. Do right, up. Yeah, do up. Do, there we go. 
Both teams, uh, again, getting that lead runner on, raised by double play. Good contact on the hitting. Uh, but these both these teams are uh, very, very schooled in uh, good defense. If it gets near a fielder, it's, uh, it's going to be tough to get on. Two up for Cherokee is going to be John Gavara, Mike Baruki, and Mike Evans. Middle of the lineup for him. John Gavura is a senior. You mentioned he's a third baseman. Let's take a look at the LDTV Sports replay. Ground ball. Nick Schooley. Right over to first for the easy out to end the first inning. Abura here. I'll do a ball. Want to know? Cabrera here. Takes the second one. That'll be a strike. One and one. Outside, count is two and one. That evens the count at two. Here comes the pitch. Called low, that make the count full. Yeah, it looked good from here. And I don't think, the only thing could have been was a little bit low. It's a good eye by Gavor. Foul ball. Gavor stays alive. Ball stays alive again. He's right back at us, uh, Jimmy. Yeah. Thank God for that uh, screen there. <laughs> although I think I was so all you, over yeah, that. Your instincts really <laughs> shot out there. Yeah. I was brave because of this nice big backstop here. <laughs> at Count is full. That's Line well drive hit. out there. Oh, not going to catch that one in right field. That was a great. Ryan's, yeah, go ahead. Ryan Schutz could not grab on that. Good effort, though. Absolutely Diamond fantastic out. effort. When, off, the, off the bat, I definitely thought it was a tweener with nobody can get to it. But uh, Ryan got onto that just off his glove. It was hit so hard that they held him to a, uh, a single. Now we have Mike Baruki, the catcher, number 24, up for Cherokee. Let's that one go. All right, called strike, one and one. You do see both pitchers from both teams on uh, with the slide step and keep that runner close. Hi. Two and one. Let's go. 
three and one. Swing and strike. Yeah, That's three, the count full. Three one count. Baruki, I'm sure, was looking for a fastball. A little bit right belt high. And again, uh, just missed it. Ball four. Both pitchers looking for their first strikeouts tonight. That's the second walk given up by uh, Stagliano. Courtesy runner going in for the catcher. Help help the game speed up. Coming in to base run will be number three, Michael Drews. All right, Mike Drews is a senior outfielder running in as the courtesy runner. Mike Evans up for Cherokee right now, the right fielder. There's a bunt laid down. Nice bunt. Great bunt. Yeah. Stagliano fielded it well. Gets him out at first. That'll be the first out of the inning. That'll put runners on second and third. Good sacrifice bunt there by Mike Evans. And now we're going to see Nick Schooley, number 11, the shortstop for Cherokee. Two runners in scoring position. This is prime time for Cherokee right now with one out. That's a ball. Fouls that one off, one and one. Schooley oh. puts it into play way off the center field. I guess another sacrifice run here. Good Coming throw. In Good throw, but he's going to be Caught safe. Off. Okay, it was cut off. Sacrifice RBI for Nick Schooley. Yeah, Gavara scores there. Again, off the... Off the crack of the bat, I, I thought that was deeper, but it, it was hit well, but uh, right at the line of the center fielder, good enough for sacrifice fly, gives the Chiefs the first, win, uh, first run of the game. Now we'll see Mike Font, first baseman, puts it into the play. That is hit Way well. down left field. Oh, and he got <laughs> it. Oh, left fielder out there, Mike Dulong. Just might have robbed Mike Font of a two-run home run. I don't think there's any doubt that he robbed him of a, of a two-run home run. And Absolutely. What a play. Unfortunately, the, the fence there is flexible. We caught it and so he didn't get hurt. Actually went over the fence, but uh, caught the ball before, uh, you know, you could get over there and oh, um, just a great play. Wow, Mike Dulong, nice job. Now, too long is coming off a three for four, but boy, he flashed some leather there. Yeah, definitely just saved at least one run. Definitely, definitely two. I haven't. Hopefully, we get to see that in a replay. I'd like to see that one again. Like, again, off the off the crack of the bat, it, it looked like there was no chance of uh, that ball staying in the yard. But uh, just a great play by Mike Doolong. So Cherokee will only get one from the top of the second. Dulong prevents it from being more. For Lenape, we are going to see Ryan Bensel, Ben Harris, and Ryan Schutz. I'll see if we can uh, have the Indians answer the one run, the 
first run of the game by Cherokee in the bottom of the second. And here's Ryan Benzel, number 11, the catcher for the Lenape Indians to lead off the bottom of the second. In yesterday's game, Ryan Benzel also had two hits and two RBIs in that win over Bishop Eustis. First pitch, that'll be a ball. Count is two balls, no strikes. I'll be in there for a strike, two and one. Up and away. Three and one. Batters count here. Benzel fouls it away to make it a full count. Foul. Oh, man, that was a fair ball. And yes, it was. Got him at first. Yeah, it might have gone off uh, off the plate. Yep. Uh, Naturally, if it hit his foot, it would have been a foul ball. But off the plate, and uh, it was a great play, defensive play by uh, by Nick Snyder on yep. that. So now we'll be up the center fielder, Ben Harris. The center fielder, number six, takes one. Two balls, no strikes. Well, held himself back there to take another ball. And Jimmy, this is the second batter in a row that the and Snyder fell back in the count. They want those early strikes we yeah. said earlier. There's a the strike. Does not help if he's constantly trying to come back in the count. Obviously, and there's the first walk of the inning. First base runner as Ben Harris walks. That will bring up Ryan Schutz, the right fielder, number one. Maybe Lenape's opportunity to come back here. Tie it up. Shots, swings at the first one, misses. Comes back, Ben's Harris. Puts in play down third base. Got him at second base. Good takeout slide there. Yeah. By Lenape, uh, Ben Harris. So that's fielder's choice there for Ryan Schutz. Mike Audit, the designated hitter, number 22, coming up for Lenape. Now, I think, I think, uh, Coach Petronani is asking, uh, you know, about the Chase Utley rule yeah. on that uh, takeout slide. But, uh, I mean, it was right straight on directly onto the bag. So, uh, I don't, don't think he's uh, going to get anything. He's just trying to clarify. Coach Petronani, I guess, was uh, okay with the explanations. It goes back. 
You get in that situation, Jimmy, with the runners on first, you have a grounder, the, the, the rule is, a, you know, get at least one out. Yeah. If, if it could be the lead runner, it's all the better, but you have to get the, at least one, and that's what they did, and they also got the, uh, the lead runner. Had a chance at a double play, but again, a nice takeout slide by uh, ben Har or Ryan ben Harris. Yep. Yes, Ben Harris. Fouls it away. We're safe. Yep. I got it with a number one count. It's in the play. That may fall in there. And it does for a single. Shuts is going three. He'll be safe. That'll be a single for audit. Usually you see in that situation, see the runner take off and goes over the uh, you know, cutoff man's uh, hands to go to third base, but uh, the runner was still close to first base and didn't want to chance it. Up now is A.J. Pena. Strike one there. Count is 0-1. And you fouls it away. Go, oh, and two. On well, this case, uh, Snyder is definitely ahead. Pitch, pitch, uh, pitch count. Oh, and two. Go, Wonder if he's even going to try a waste pitch because he hasn't been getting around on the on the heat. And fouls it away. A little off-speed pitch. One two with two outs. That's in the play. Ground ball. Right back to Snyder and got him at first. So had a little bit of trouble there for Snyder, but he got out of it. Lenape leaves a man on. As we're headed into the top of the third. Lenape was threatening there, one first and third. With the two outs. And you said he got right back to right back to Snyder for the easy third out. Top of the third for the Chiefs. We are going to see Jeff Schick bat leadoff. And then right at the top to the top of the order, Jake Treber and Evan Powell. And Jeff Schick says, uh, I said center fielder. And he's also a senior. Senior laden team, the starting lineup, only uh, two, two uh, juniors in Cherokee's lineup. Well, we mentioned the uh, head coach of Cherokee, the visiting Chiefs, eight years uh, as head coach uh, after 10 years of uh, assistant coach. Uh, Mark Petronani, his assistant, Steve Dolores, Dan Haverstick, and Mike Grossman. Jeff Schick coming up, first time to the plate today. Takes that one for a ball. Swings at that. That'll definitely drop in. Looking for two. And he's got the double. Schick with the double. That must have just fallen inside the line. We're, we're kind of uh, blocked out here by the Chiefs uh, dugout. But uh, again, uh, Mike Schick leads off with the top. Mike Schick, Jeff Schick, and Mike Schick. Uh, I don't know if this Jeff's is Mike's son, 
Mike Schick is a All-American pitcher from Cherokee back in 85 when they were state champions. Could be his son. Hopefully I don't call him Mike again. <laughs> Jeff Schick with a double. And Jake Treber, second baseman, his first at-bat, he walked. Trying to bunt there, uses speed maybe to get on, a little sacrifice, win-win situation there, but took that one for a ball. Yeah, these two top two teams, runs are probably going to be at a minimum, so you're going to see a lot of sacrificing here. Low again, two off. Oh, heads Still up play. Third. Yeah, definitely heads up play there by Schick. Nice job with a stolen base. Makes it that much easier. Makes it 90 feet easier for Jake Treber. Well, the, the ball didn't go that far, but the, the catcher couldn't locate it. And, and Jeff, being a heads up base runner that he is, you know, took advantage of. Uh, I don't know if it's going to go down as a wild pitch or pass ball, but anyway, the, the ball was definitely in the dirt. Yeah, Ryan Benzel had trouble seeing that. Yeah, probably right un uh, underneath his feet. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if we, we we could hardly hear anybody helping him out. You know, a lot of times you'll hear feet, feet, right at your feet. Another walk for Treber. Evan Powell coming up. He has a fly out. Last time he was up. Let's take a look at the LDTV Sports replay. Very heads up play. A heads up play there, yeah. right? Chick. That could be a pivotal moment in today's game. A little inside. Be interesting here. I uh, don't know if uh, they're going to be putting on any kind of hit and run because you have the lefty against lefty. Take away the whole first base. Swings out. One and one. No outs. Runners on first and third for Cherokee. Evan Powell up. Out of the way. Now, he definitely has to protect here and get some sort of contact, put the ball in play. One ball, two strikes. I was going. And uh, the yep. ball did get into the ground again and hit the dirt, so uh, uh, Benzel didn't have any kind of play on it. Jake Treber with a stolen base. Perfect time to go, picked the perfect pitch. Joe, the keys to the game, both teams wanted to limit base running mistakes, and we've seen the complete opposite from Cherokee this inning so far. Absolutely. Puts that into play. Oh, oh, distracted by the runner going back to second. What a play by Jake Treber to give Evan Powell an RBI. And that sends in Jeff Schick. Well, that's definitely an error, so maybe an unearned run there. Although that probably would, would have scored uh, anyway with the runner going or probably thrown to first and got the out. But it definitely was distracted. Uh, again, the runner on second was starting to go to, to, to third. But the rule is if, if the ball is hit in front of you to get back to second with less than two outs. And that's exactly what he did. But, but on the way back, he was like right in front of, right in front of the shortstop. Again, that's Tommy Gardner. And uh, distracted him enough, but uh, couldn't make the play. Big play here early in the game. So Hunter Mason coming up to DH. Still there's nobody out. First and second. Okay, so 
Hunter Mason. You strike going one. Again, Hunter's first at bat was the uh, good contact. One bounce right back to the pitcher resulted in a Lenape double play. Yep. That in the play to right field. He's tagging at second. Yep. Gets the third safely. That's a fly out from Hunter Mason. And that'll move Powell up to third base. Runners on first and third. Now with one out. Brings up John Gabra. Last at bat, he had a s single, and he scored. That'll be a ball one and know. Yeah, Gavura scored on the sacrifice fly uh, by Nick Schooley. Swings out to even the count at one. Ahead of that one, one and two. Yeah, Stigliano definitely took something off that pitch. Way ahead, way ahead on the swing. Line drive, right field. Caught it. Yeah, and held it. Yeah. The line drive prevented uh, Treber. No, that was Schick, uh, no, Treber over there and coming in at home. Yeah, Treber can knock him home from that and that's gonna be a line out there from Gavara. Gavara. And I, I didn't notice if, uh, if Jake did take off instead of going back to the bag with less than two, uh, but nonetheless, it was such a hard hit ball. Might have been a close play at the plate if he did go back right away to, to tag. Mike Baruki here, last at bat. He walked. Count is one and one. Two and one. Runners on first and third. Two outs. Lenape had runners on first and third, the bottom of the second, and could not capitalize. Even as count of two. And calls him on that one. That's a backwards K right there. That'll be a strikeout. Baruki gets called on that. First strikeout of the day from either of the pitchers. Yeah, Baruki might have let off that one. Uh, might have thought it was a little bit low, but again, with two strikes, anything close, you gotta gotta take a cut at it. Well, right now, Ryan Schutz makes two great plays. Uh, the first one with the dive, even though he didn't come up with it, and it was a great effort. And uh, the second one, the line drive with the runner on first and third with, with one out. And uh, Cherokee does not get, this, get the run on the sacrifice fly. But nonetheless, uh, they get the first two scores of the game. Coming up for Lenape, we're going to see Eric Zimmerman, Mike Dulong, and Tommy Gardner. This is Zimmerman's, going to be Zimmerman's first plate appearance today. And that yes, game yesterday, uh, Lenape beating Bishop Eustace, has had a 15-hit attack. Tommy Gardner, as you mentioned, 
Uh, also went three for four with a double and an RBI. Well, Jim, we have the cloud cover. Hopefully it doesn't rain like uh, like you had at the year. Your game announcement with Minnie Mel last week. And softball. We were at Cherokee High School. Good game there. Let's take a look at the LDTV Sports Replay. That's the that was the third called strike. Yeah, it was yeah. Called strike from here. It did look a little low. Looked like it was a little On outside low corner, but replay. You got two strikes. You got to be aggressive at the That's plate. That's it. Anything close. So Eric Zimmerman, the first baseman, number 14, batting ninth. Ball one. Balls up high. Out of play. Yep. Off the uh, dugout. Happy dugout. Yep. Foul ball. Fortunately, didn't hit our uh, bread and butter LDTV truck back there. Strike two. Count as one ball and two strikes. Strike three, got him. That's going to be Snyder's first strikeout. That was all heat by, by Snyder right down the middle of the plate. Yep. Overpowered for the K. And Mike Dulong, as we saw the great play in left field. Robbing Mike Fawn of the home run. See if he can do something at the plate for Lenape to start up that motor for their offense. Held himself one and one. Mike Dulong singled last time he bet. Fouls that one up and away. One and two. Strike three. That's back to back strikeouts from Nick Snyder. Yeah, Nick got him on a breaking ball on that one. Curves right into last second. I see Tommy Gardner up for Lenape. And he hit into a double play last time up. Yeah, I believe that was the line drive right back uh, to the pitcher. After uh, Mike Dulong got on when the base hit in the first inning. Balls, no strikes. Oh. Snyder falls behind 3 0. Again, Cherokee don't want to give him any free passes, get them back in this game. Even though it's only 2 0 and still early, they don't want to give them any free passes. Strike one. And ball four. So that'll be Gardner's first walk of the day. 
That will bring up Jake Topolsky. Topolsky grounded out last time up. Runner on first here with two. Good play by the catcher. Nice play by Baruki. And yeah, nice one-handed nice scoop day. by Baruki. Prevented that ball from getting past him and getting the lineup uh, runner in scoring position. Ground ball right between third and short. That'll be a single from Jake. Perfect placement between uh, the hole at short and third. Lenape has a runner on uh, first and second, runner in scoring position with two outs. Ryan Bensel coming up to the plate. Bensel grounded out last time up. Runners on first and second, as you said, Joe. Two outs. Bottom third. And Baruki going out to talk to Snyder for a little bit. Font joining, maybe throwing in a couple words there. A base hit. Uh, good chance of uh, getting that run in with two outs. You off with the crack of the bat. Got one, two and Strike one, two balls and one strike. It's that one. That's hit well. And it's and caught up, I believe, right up against the fence. And Mike Evans with the catch out there. That'll be a fly out from Bensel. So Lenape could not take advantage of the runner on base, or runners, and runner in scoring position. And they won't score any runs as we go to the top of the fourth. We are going to see Mike Evans, Nick Schooley, and Mike Font. And we're going to take a break here. We'll be back for the top of the fourth. Today's game on LDTV Sports, sponsored by Deborah Heart and Lung Center, where experience matters. 800-555-1990, www.deborah.org. Philadelphia Wholesale Produce Market, all the best, all right here, 215-336-3003, or on the web at www.pwpm.net. Comegno Law Group, specializing in general and special education law, representing individuals, families, public boards of education, and independent schools. 888-313-IDEA or comegnolaw.com. Wilmore School of Gymnastics and Cheer, where every child is special. Located on Briggs Road in Mount Laurel, 856-234-5292. Medford Village Car Care, serving the area's car care needs for 30 years. Located at 11 North Main Street in Medford, 609-654-4023.
and on the web at mvcc-nj.com. And by Heads Up, Eyes Forward. Please never drive distracted. www.lrhsd.org slash heads up. For information on how your business can become a sponsor of LDTV Sports, contact Joe Malagrana, LDTV Underwriting Manager, at 609-268-2000, extension 8680, or by email, jmalagrana at lrhsd.org. And we're back here, we're back here at Lenape High School, where we saw... Coming back here. Wait, hold on a second. Ground ball is second base. Out at first. So coming back a little, little into the inning here, we missed Mike Evans fly out to right field. And just now Nick Schooley grounded out to second base. And we're going to see Mike Font with two outs here for Cherokee. And Mike Foti had a home run last last inning. Maybe a little redemption here. One ball, one strike to Mike Font. Ground ball, second base, easy play, and got him at first. So a one, two, three inning there from Stogliano. A little change of pace. Yeah, yeah, because uh, Cherokee had some runners on the first three innings, and uh, like you said, one, two, three. Let's see if the uh, Indians can uh, get back into this game. In the bottom of the fourth, down two nothing. For Lenape, we're going to see Ben Harris, Ryan Schutz, and Mike Audit. Now, Jimmy, we mentioned Coach uh, Phil Fiore's nine years uh, head coach at Lenape. Uh, although he uh, was a head coach at Highland for a couple of years and uh, for about five or six years at Timber Creek. And he became head coach at Lenape in 2008 to the present. He also played two years at East Stroudsburg University. His coaching staff include Keith Cunard, Mike Smith, Frank Capobianco, uh, Capobianco excuse me, Lou Arnold, Brad Wooden, and Brian Jenkins. A lot of quality players, a lot of quality coaching here. We're seeing here in our field here today at the... Uh, the Lenape Indians. And Ben Harris up to bat. He walked last time at the plate. Evens the count at one. Tough that, play. Yeah, that'll drop in for a single. Stays at one. And that's a single for Ben Harris. Coming up to the plate is going to be Ryan Schutz. He into a fielder's choice. Last time up. Throws it down to first. Oh, over through. throws Mike Font. Great backup 
by Mike Evans prevented the runner from advancing in the scoring position. Yeah, Baruki had a little trouble on that throw. Fallon had to get up, could not get up high enough. Goes back. Count as two balls, no strikes. Pulls back the bunt at the last second. Two balls, one strike. Looks like it was a planned little thing to get into Snyder's mind. Yeah, well, I don't think it was a very, I mean, it was a, it was a strike, but uh, it was a tough pitch to, to bun one. Yeah. So we'll see if it's still on or not. Checking over at Ben Harris. Three balls and one strike to Ryan Schutz. And he did square to bunt, so the bunt's still on. As he, as he's looking down the Coach Fury for the signal, see what he do, does here with a three and one count. Swing it away. Yep, full count. A nice pitch to hit, too. Shot strikes out. Snyder was his, with his third strikeout of the day. Right, had him down, three balls and a strike. Him back and uh, gets the K. Coming up to bat now is the designated hitter, Mike Audit. Mike Audit hit his single last time up. Ball. Ooh, late call there. Yeah. No balls, one strike. I was going to say low pitch. Yeah. Kind of a late call by the ump, but uh, strike one. Rose it over quickly. It'll be safe. Keeping Harrison in order there. That's a good move and a close play. Oh, he Got goes. Him. Got him out at second base. Ben Harris pulled the trigger and went. And Snyder got him. Short half hit there. Falls over Snyder, got him. Covering over, makes the play. So Audit grounds out. Oh, there's the uh, left early yep. and got him easily at second base. Limit the base running mistakes was one of our keys yeah. to the game. Could have been a could have been a prime inning for Lenape. Well, in high school, you, it's kind of rare that you do see the, you know, throw over to first to keep the runners on back to back. So maybe that's why, uh, maybe that's why he kind of jumped the gun a little bit. But in any case, it uh, could have been a big run there. As we go to the top of the fifth, we're going to see Jeff Schick, who had a big double and stolen base, and Jake Treber. And then Evan Powell. And again, uh, for Jeff Schick, uh, you said he got the big double. We also had the heads-up base running. Or the ball, uh, if you remember, uh, was under Bensel. He didn't, couldn't locate it and 
Jake got into third there and came around on a sack fly. So looking at the stats through four, Stagliano has a strikeout. Nick Snyder for Cherokee has three strikeouts. Also for Cherokee, Evan Powell has an RBI. And Nick Schooley also has the other RBI. And we're going to see... We're going to see, yep, Jeff Schick. Good pitch there. I start him off with a breaking pitch. Swings at it. Two for two yep. for Shake. Yep, that'll be a single. And we're going to see Jake Treber. He has two walks and a stolen base today. And wonder if it'll be uh, boning in the second here. That yeah, pulls the bunt. Another nice bunt. Yeah, to Stogliano trying for oh, that second base. Got him got at him. second base. That was From here, I thought it was closer to us, but uh, probably a little bit too hard. Went right back to the pitcher. Gets the force out at second. Smart play. Good communication there by Benzel and the pitcher. It's the force out at second. Yeah, so Treber sits or hits into a fielder's choice. And we're gonna see Evan Powell. He has flied out and singled, and he has an RBI. With one out to the top of the fifth. Count is one and zero. Oh, got him right on the hand. Yep, that hurts. Right hand, yeah. So Evan Powell, left fielder, is going to be hit by pitch. The setup men on first and second base for Cherokee. I tell you, Jimmy, from here, that almost sounded like, like a foul ball. That's yeah. how hard he got hit as uh, Coach Petronani is going down and checking on him. Umpires are telling... Our umpire tells the Cherokee dugout, take a chill pill there. Yeah, I gave him a warning probably from some verbal things that are coming out of the dugout, but uh, kind of tough to, for us to hear with the with our earphones on. Maybe it's good. He's going to tell Lenape too. Okay. He knew it was going to be a highly contested game, that's for sure. Maybe tension's rising a little bit when you hit a batter. When getting into the fifth inning, getting into the nitty gritty of the game, these teams definitely want and definitely could use these wins here. Sure, we get the state the cutoff coming up. First pitch, fly ball to right field. Tagging at second. Hey, safe at third. That'll be another fly out for Hunter Mason. He had a hit into a double play and two fly outs for the day. And we're going to see John Gavura come in, come up to bat for Cherokee. He has a single, and he has scored, and he has a line out. Big run for Cherokee there, standing on third base. 
Swings at the first pitch, got a single, that'll score a run. Heading over to third, close play, he'll be safe, and that'll be a double for Gavura. Well, it's probably going to go down as a single, and it uh, goes a second on the throw to third. But in, in any case, he gets that third big run in. Evan Powell up to third. That'll be an RBI for Gavora. And they looks like they're going to have a courtesy runner for him. Nice piece of hitting there, right up the middle. Number 12 coming in, James Franchetti. Mike Baruki up to bat. That's a ball. He has walked and struck out today. Uh, ball one and one. You mentioned uh, James Frank Hetty comes in for uh, the, the pinch runner. He is a sophomore. Frank Hetty is a sophomore, as you said, number 12. And he plays infield and sometimes pitches for Cherokee. Oh, nice pitch there. One and two. On Baruki. Ball, two and two. Foul ball. Watch that truck. Uh, Oof. Just missed it. Thank God. Oof. <laughs> Keeps the count at two and two. Runners on second and third. Two balls, two strikes, two out. Top of the fifth. Cherokee has scored one this inning. Count is full. Baruki hits That's it. That's ripped. That is far back. Oh, Caught him in left field. <laughs> A second one by the Ch Chiefs we thought was gone. Yeah, Mike Doolong getting some action over there, doing well. That'll be a fly out for Baruki. He pulls that ball, and I don't think Doolong's going to make a play on that one, but who knows? The magician out there. Great contact anyway by Baruki. Fly out to left field. But Chiefs get that big third run. So going into the bottom of the fifth, Snyder still on the mound, as we expect. Doing well, pitching a shutout right now. Yeah, both pitchers are, you know, I mean, they've had runners on, but... Uh, not a lot, really not a lot of base hits uh, total up wise anyway. We're going to see A.J. Pena, Eric Zimmerman, and Mike Dulong. I don't know what you have, Jimmy, but I have uh, Cherokee with four hits. That. I have Lenape with four or five. 
something wrong. I have Cherokee with five. Okay. Well, and did, Lenape with four. Okay. Did you uh, give Evan Powell a base hit on that? Uh, I did. The run? Okay. I, I believe that was an error on, on okay. the, on the uh, shortstop. Either way, with four the, or with, five. With, with the distraction. Well, we're in the ballpark, no pun intended. <laughs> so A.J. Pena to lead off for Lenape. He's got a ground out so far. Right now, that uh, third run is looms large as we uh, get into the later innings here. Bottom of the fifth. Ooh. Oh. So Snyder comes back and hits the first batter. So Snyder comes back and hits him with the first pitch. Tensions rising a little bit. Runner on first base. Eric Zimmerman coming up to bat. Foul ball. Off the hit the bat and then hit him in the face or the helmet. I heard it. My head yeah. was down, uh, writing some stuff down here, and is that what happened? I don't know. Here I thought he hit the bat. Hit a pit, uh, hit the batter again, but uh, it's off a foul ball. That's scary. So umpire taking a break here. Usually the the protocol. Let's take a look at the LDTV Sports replay. Oh. Yeah. Right upside the face. Wow. It looked like you hit him right on that the bill of the helmet. Boy, it's lucky. Yeah, very lucky. So Eric Zimmerman down in the count, 0 and 1. Protocol of baseball. Usually you talk talk with your players. If somebody gets hit or the umpire. Sign of respect. As we take a look at the LDTV sports replay from a different angle. Oh, man. Yeah, hit the hit the earpiece. Okay. Left side earpiece. Right in the corner. Thank God for that earpiece. Yeah. That, that could have been one heck of an injury. Looks like the trainer's out there talking to him. Umpire also in. Sure. I'm sure since they uh, hit him on the side of the head, they just like a lot of the pros, uh, you know, trainers have their concussion protocols and the questions that they ask and the, certainly especially in high school you you don't want to take a chance with any kind of head injury but I think uh, I think they'll keep him in yeah I think it's uh, Lenape's uh, trainer Bill Von Leer it looks like he's uh, he's satisfied that he's okay to continue his uh, his at bat so Eric Zimmerman's going to be down in the count 0-1. Way to eat it, Seth! Round around for a bunt again. Keeps it there. Up in the air. Yeah. Nice play from Mike Baruki. That could be a big out this inning here. If, uh, couldn't advance the runner in the scoring position, but they only have one out. So Mike Dulong up to bat, leadoff man for Lenape. And also the fielding magician in left field today. Yes. So with A.J. Pena on first base, Mike Dulong looks to get something started. They need to get it going soon. 
as they're down to their last eight outs. That's a fly ball. And Mike Evans catches that in right field. Mike Doolong with the fly out. And coming up now is Tommy Gardner. Tommy has hit into a double play and walked tonight. Oh, Ooh, good, <laughs> good move. Well, he spun his wheels a little bit there. Just got in. That'll be one and now. Pena's getting a great lead down there, and he definitely looks runnerish. I think Snyder with the two outs really you know, probably should concentrate on the batter, get that third out. Falls behind in the count, 3-0. and oh. Ooh, had him oh, again. Yeah. Had him again. Spinning a little bit of the wheels. Just managed to get the hand back in again. It's a great move to first base. Strike one. Three balls and one strike. On Gardner. Fouls it away, makes the count full. Pena's off. Left field pop up there. And caught in left field by Evan Powell. As that'll end the inning with the Tommy Gardner flyout. So the hit by pitch, uh, the hit to Batman didn't didn't cost them. As the Chiefs holding on to that three nothing lead going into the top of the sixth. I believe we're getting a new pitcher for Lenape. That looks like it will be Mike Audit, number 22. Yep, coming in for Lenape. So that's it for Stogliano. We'll give him two earned runs. And he had one strikeout on the day. As we see if Mike Audit can give something to Cherokee a little different here, prevent them from scoring more runs. Now, Mike, what it was, the DH, so I don't think there was any other field position changes. Coming up to bat is Mike Evans, right fielder. He has hit into a fielder's choice and flied out today. Cherokee looking for some insurance. Definitely don't need runs, but could use them. Never have enough runs. Yep. As both these teams have uh, come back in games uh, this season. Oh. 
two quick strikes here by Audit. It's a tough play. That's well, hanging up there for center fielder. Ben Harris. Yeah, ben Harris caught that one as Evans flies out for the second time today. And we're going to see Nick Schooley come up. The shortstop who has a sack fly today and a ground out, but also an RBI. Good pitch there, own one. That's a ball. Did not. Two balls and one strike. I think he appealed it. It's kind of tough for the first base ump to see that he crossed the plane, but it said no swing. Count as three balls and one strike. Count is full. One out. Half hits it there, right over to third base. As Schooley lines out. That'll bring up Mike Font, who has been robbed of a home run by Mike Dulong and had a ground out too. First pitch, Lee called strike. Goes for that one, 0-2. Oh Side on the corner. One ball and two strikes to Mike Font. Foul ball. One and one, or two and two count. Two balls and two strikes with two outs. Nobody on for Cherokee. Top of the sixth inning. Got him swinging. That's Audit's first strike out of the day. And Font's first also. So that's the end of the top of the sixth. And we're going to see two up for Lenape, Jake Tobolsky, Ryan Bensel, and Ben Harris. Looks like we're going to see Nick Snyder again. Why not? He, the bottom of the sixth. he certainly hasn't uh, lost anything off, off his fastball. And uh, he still has pretty good control of, uh, of his breaking pitches. So, uh, like you said, why not? Only given up four hits. Had some runners on. Uh, but any time there was runners on, he managed to get out, got it out of it and uh, keep them at bay. Right now, four hits for Lenape, no runs. Cherokee holding on that 3 nothing lead. Possibility of uh, two more at bats for Lenape. Unless we go into extra innings. And Jimmy uh, just mentioned earlier that uh, last year's record for Lenape was 11 and 12. They already 
already match their uh, winning mark here, 11 and 2. Their only two losses come against uh, Cherry Hill West, who's doing having a great year, and also ran Cocos Valley. I was talking to uh, assistant coach uh, Keith Kennard earlier. They said against the against the RV, they just ran into a buzzsaw. One of their pitchers uh, just had a phenomenal game. And Cherry Hill West uh, came back. They had the third out, and uh, it was a fly ball, and the player couldn't make a play on it. And uh, the floodgates opened. Couldn't get that third out. Would have been the third out. So uh, they could very easily be 12-1 uh, and one at this point. So we see Jake Topolsky. He has grounded out and hit a single. Looks like there's room. And they got him. No, they didn't. Yeah, as I said, we can't uh, we can't see because yeah, of the lineup he dug out. So off the crack of the bat, I thought it was going to be out of play, and I guess he ran out of uh, ran out of real estate there. Still alive at the plate. Count as one ball, one strike. Right down the third base line, good play over there. Got him at first. Good play over there by Gavara. Yeah, John Gavara was a great play and a nice stretch by the first baseman. Uh, Mike Font just got him. Probably less than a half a step. Very close play, but uh, the right play, the right call. One out for the Indians. Now is Ryan Bensel, the catcher. Bensel has grounded out and flew out. Hard bouncer. Oh, tough hop over. It's shortstop. Got him. Oh no. Yeah, that, like that took a that took a, a, a kind of a weird hop. It actually went down instead of up. But just for you to say, nice nice easy bounce to the shortstop, but uh, I don't know if it hit the, the grass cutout. Could have hit the grass cutout, actually went down, changed the direction a little bit, made it a difficult play. Threw the ball, rushed the rushed the throw a little bit, and uh, couldn't get dug out at, at first. If it was dug out, he would have been out, unless you called him out, but it got by him. So in for Ryan Bensel is Brandon Brunner, number 48. In the run for him with one out. Now it's Ben Harris who went on that one, definitely. Yep. Ben Harris has walked and singled, and he was caught in that little tangle up trying to steal earlier in the game as he's down 0 and 2 in the count. Ball is high. Swing at that one. Ground ball at third base. Got him at second. Safe at first. Nice quick pivot there by the Chiefs, but uh, again, the ball wasn't hit uh, really that hard. and. Busted out of the box to prevent the double play, but did get the lead runner. So Ben Harris hits into a fielder's choice, and we're going to see number 22, Mike Audit, come up. Oh, number two. Number two, Stephen Catoni. 
bat for Ryan Schutz. This is Katoni's first plate appearance today. As the count is 1 0 with two outs and a man on first. So we get that one 1 and 1. Ball, two and one. Ben Harris is back on first base running. Oh, strike two. Steven Catoni thought that was ball four. Not good from here. Yeah. Halfway down the first base line. Count is full. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I thought that hit him. I guess, a, that, that yeah. was, I guess it was a sound off of the yeah, catcher's uh, like it glove. Up. Right. That'll be rule as a walk. And the infield will surround Snyder as everybody talks, talks it over, see how he's feeling. Yeah, Coach Petronani is going to be talking to him, see, see how he feels. I'm sure he says. Good. Keep me down. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> they rarely say, I, I lost it, coach. Take me <laughs> out of the game. But uh, he just wants to break the momentum here a little bit. Everybody get on page. Brookie's coming back laughing, so he's happy. He's satisfied. And, uh, and see if Nick Snyder can get out of this inning. Tying run at is at home plate, yeah, yeah with Mike Audit. Two outs here. Huge part of the game right here, Jim. Yep, two outs. Two runners on. Mike Audit. Takes the first one for a ball. Today, Mike Audit has a single and a ground out. And pitching wise, he has a strikeout. Inside for ball two. Another ball, three and oh. Runners advance. Yeah. It's going to be a pass ball. Steven Catoni and Ben Harris move up a base. Two outs, three and no. Oh. Definitely doesn't want to give him a free pass here. Brings a lead run at the plate. Joe, you're in Snyder's position right now. What are you going to do? Well, he has to throw a strike. That's for sure. And there you go. He got it. Three and one. Strike two for, 
for Cherokee, Connor Cheeseman. Cheeseman is warming up in the bullpen. Let's stay with the high cheese right here. Oh, he did, oh. but just got a piece and off it, of the uh, yep. chest protector of the ump, but uh, he's a gamer. He's okay. As I was talking about earlier, the baseball protocol. Give the other guy a break. Somebody gets hit. And full count. Have all the unwritten etiquette rules. A great game of baseball. Here it is. Three and two. Two outs. Runners on second and third. Fly ball up. Yeah, it's shortstop. Nick Scully calls him off and gets him out. Lenape is going to leave two men in scoring position. It's fly out from Mike Audit. That could have been, could have been the game right there, Joe. Yeah, and Nick Snyder dodges another bullet. Uh, they said they've had some runners on, manages to get out, and uh, Lenape is down to their final three outs. Of course, unless they tie it up in the bottom of the seventh. Anyway, Cherokee's coming up top of the seventh right here. Three nothing lead. And productions are LDTV sports productions are available online at youtube.com slash LD or Lenape District TV. And to purchase them, to purchase today's productions, you go to LD or LRHSD.org slash LDTV copies. So once again, online, you can check it out at youtube.com slash Lenape District TV. And for purchase at LRHSD.org slash LDTV copies. You got to throw it, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> a little tough there, but. A lot of LDD, yeah. HSD. A lot of <laughs> so the next game is going to be Varsity Girls Lacrosse. It's going to be the Lenape Indians at the Shawnee Renegades. You can check the full schedule out at www.lrhsd.org slash LDTV. Got it down now, buddy. <laughs> so we're going to see... Mike Audit stay on the mound for Lenape. And we're going to see number 10, Jeff Schick, come up. Two for two for Jeff. Yep. With a stolen base. That's will take the first ball. Swings there. Ground ball on the shortstop. Slow roller. Got him out. Jake Treber coming up. He has two walks and a fielder's choice with one stolen base. Ball one. One out here. Late call, one and one. Yeah, he seems to be calling the low strike, and it uh, happened a few times. He's consistent with it. We get a timeout. Yep. <laughs> Up in the infield. Calls it off, third baseman. That was Tommy Gardner to make that play. And that'll be two outs with Evan Powell coming up. He got hit by a pitch. Last that bad, he has an RBI, fly out, and a single. Like audit delivers a ground ball. And... Out there on the first pitch. That will be it for Cherokee.
the top of the seventh. As Lenape, Joe, as you said, down to their last three outs. We are going to see A.J. Pena up, batting leadoff, and then Eric Zimmerman and Mike Dulong. As Snyder stays on, looking for the complete game shutout. Wasn't it Pena that got hit by the pitch uh, last time up? Yep. Okay, we think in the game, see if he can get some runners on, get Lenape uh, in the back of this game, bottom of the seventh. And here we go. Bottom of the seventh. Lenape in dire need of three runs. Strike one. A.J. Pena. A.J. Pena has grounded out and gotten hit by a pitch. Be up. Playable. Should be playable, yeah. Font's got it for the first. Right in front of the Lenape dugout. One down. And Eric Zimmerman coming up to plate. Coming up to the plate. He's got a strikeout and a, a little, it was from the bunt. Was categorized as a little bit of a fly out, but played by the catcher, played by Baruki. Yeah, that was a big play trying to sacrifice, popped it up, and uh, Baruki caught it. Be a foul ball, heading toward Joe, whipping out the glove, and he's got it. Nice catch, Joe. <laughs> Arm was six inches <laughs> short. <laughs> oh, that shoulder. And that's strike three. That's the second out for Snyder. Real quick, we're going to thank the crew today. Tyler Schloendorn, challenging one there. Samantha Blinn, Emily Rendano, Ariel Jaffrey. Gilbert on Gwenyi and Gwyn Pepe, Max Bass, Evan Bradley, Scott Buck, sideline reporter John Conlow, and your announcers, Frank Sinatra himself, <laughs> Joe Melagrano, Melagrana, and me, Jimmy Freeze. Oh, and he got him. Umpire, home umpire asked for help and the, the check swing. Call it a strike. Count is one and two. Lenape down to their last strike. And that's a ball. Come on, the foul ball, and that'll be it. Snyder gets him on a strikeout, and that is it. Snyder's 
fifth strikeout of the night as Cherokee closes out Lenape, winning 3 nothing. Cherokee comes to Lenape's home turf, home field, and control the game, stay in control the whole night. They scored one run in the second and the third, and another one run in the fifth. And that's a big win for the Chiefs coming off of that loss yesterday to Cherry Hill West. Again, Lenape, <coughs> pardon me, only with the two losses coming in, they now have three. And Cherokee's record now goes to 14 and six. As we mentioned many times, they're, they're, everything's bunched up because of some of the rainouts we've had. Diamond Classic coming up this weekend, and uh, in about 10 to 14 days, I believe the state uh, state tournament uh, will be occurring. And uh, right now, we're not definite, but I'm sure both of these teams uh, like their invitation into the Diamond Classic will be part of the state playoffs. So, uh, huge win for the Cherokee coming in here. Three one. Losers last time in uh, early April, early in the year at Cherokee, down uh, three to one. I do, I do. I just I took care of it being as nice not working on this And that's going to be the final score, three nothing. We'll be back in a little bit for the player and play of the game here at Lenape High School. Today's game on LDTV Sports, sponsored by Deborah Heart and Lung Center, where experience matters. 800-555-1990, www.deborah.org. Philadelphia Wholesale Produce Market, all the best, all right here. 215-336-3003, or on the web at www.pwpm.net. Comegno Law Group, specializing in general and special education law, representing individuals, families, public boards of education, and independent schools. 888-313-IDEA or comegnolaw.com. Wilmore School of Gymnastics and Cheer, where every child is special. Located on Briggs Road in Mount Laurel, 856-234-5292. Medford Village Car Care, serving the area's car care needs for 30 years. Located at 11 North Main Street in Medford, 609-654-4023. And on the web at mvcc-nj.com. And by Heads Up, Eyes Forward. Please never drive distracted. www.lrhsd.org slash heads up. For information on how your business can become a sponsor of LDTV Sports, contact Joe Malagrana, LDTV Underwriting Manager, at 609-268-2000, extension 8680, or by email, jmalagrana at lrhsd.org. The Lenape Regional High School District mobile app is now available for your iOS or Android device. The Lenape District app provides access to a variety of district information at any time from anywhere. Users can quickly and easily connect with everything from district news to athletic and activity schedules to social media to grades and assignments in one mobile friendly view. In the news stream, you can customize what information from which schools you want to follow and see all of your content all on one page. The calendar feature allows you to choose from activities, clubs, and sports from each of the district high schools so that you only see the events that interest you. And when logged into the app, students and parents can access class schedules, grades, assignments, teacher websites, attendance, and more. The app even allows students and parents to be notified whenever class grades are updated or when a cafeteria balance runs low. Even the district's Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube pages, as well as directories, teacher contact info, resources, and more are all right at your fingertips. The Lenape Regional High School District app is available for free from the App Store and Google Play. Just search Lenape Regional High School District. So get started and download the Lenape Regional High School District app today.
And we're back here. Seeing the box score there. Cherokee wins 3-0 over Lenape. And it's now time for the Reconstructive Orthopedics Player of the Game at 1-800-896-RECON or on the web at www.reconstructiveortho.com. Let's send it down to John, standing by for the interview. Thanks, guys. I'm with the player of the game, Cherokee pitcher Nick Snyder. So, um, Nick, what was your feeling on winning today's game? Uh, all good feelings. Um, you know, it's big to get out here after a, a loss we had yesterday against West. And uh, anytime you get a win after a loss, it's just a great feeling all around. So I know recently you defeated, um, you were defeated by Lenape. So what did you do differently today to change that? I really just tried to attack as many hitters as possible, you know, being aggressive with my fastball and putting them away with the curveball. And do you think you can bring, keep bringing this aggressiveness into the next game? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, anytime you have your fielders behind you, you know, we had a lot of good plays today. Anytime you have that confidence with the fielders behind you, it just makes you pitch a lot, a lot easier. All right, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. I'm John Conlow, back to you guys. Thank you very much, John. And he wanted to get ahead of the pitchers and, uh, or ahead of the hitters, so to speak. And, uh, you know, he didn't do it all the time, but he, he certainly was on his game today. Yes, uh, as we said, that's going to be big momentum for Cherokee coming into Lenape and winning. Cherokee being a lower ranked, lower seeded team. Yeah, and that, uh, that changes from week to week, but they're all, all in the ball game, all in the ballpark with, rate, with the ratings. And it's now time to take a look at the Allstate Good Hands Play of the Game, sponsored by Michael McDyer, CLTC, at 609-654-1426, or Michael McDyer at Allstate.com. Allstate. You're in good hands. It's going to be that attempted steal by Lenape. As they got him out, probably a big momentum boost there. That's for sure. And I was early in the game. Uh, Might have been down one nothing at the time, but uh, definitely a, a base running mistake. That jumped the gun a little bit, but uh, got him and. Boy, that prevented him from getting in the scoring position, and as a result, uh, hey, Cherokee gets the shutout. And that'll do it for us here at LDTV Sports. Joe Melagrana and Jimmy Freeze, and we thank you very much. And that's our final score, Cherokee 3, let it be nothing. security in places like that. The district has up-to-date and well-tested emergency response plans.